Hello and welcome to Mr. C's presentation on long division practice. Yeah, that's right. I admit my last lesson was a little weak. There's a couple of concepts that I left out of it that I think are pretty important, and it was a it was a long lesson, and so I wanted to give kind of a shorter, quick little practice lesson where I went over a couple division problems again. We went through the steps and the process together. Um, so that I practiced with you once more, kind of before you went off and did your own thing, or maybe it answered a few questions you had while you were trying to do your own practice. Anyways, I want it to be a shorter lesson, so let's get into it. We're just going to do a couple of practice problems, okay? Going to cut some stuff out of this lesson. Here we go. Now, this first problem, you are going to see something that I didn't show you how to do in the last video. So let's go ahead and set this one up. 1,004. Put it inside his little division hut, divided by 10. Okay, so remember what we do? We cover up this, or at least that's what I do in my head, and I'm going to do it for you visually here. Cover up this number, and start revealing them one at a time. Okay, 1. Does 10 go into 1? Nope. So let's slide on over. Does 10 go into 10? Why, yes, it does. 10 goes into 10 exactly one time. Well, what's 1 times 10? Is 10. And then 10 minus 10, uh, that's easy, Mr. C, duh, zero. Okay, zero, woo, all right. So let's move over one more space. Uh-oh, what number are we bringing down here? Yeah, it's zero. Well, wait a second, this causes a problem. 10 doesn't go into zero, does it? No. So what do we do? Well, sometimes kids will just skip right on over to the four and bring the four down. No, do not do that. Okay? You have to go through the steps. How many times does 10 go into zero? It doesn't go in at all. Zero times. Zero. And then watch. Zero times 10 uh, is zero. And zero minus zero is zero. And now we move over. And drop our four down. Okay. How many times does 10 go into four? It doesn't. It doesn't. 10 doesn't go into four at all. Four is too small. Four is smaller than 10, so 10 can't fit in evenly. All right, let's do it again. Zero times 10 is zero. Right? Four minus zero is four. And then we move over. There's no more numbers. Nothing else to bring down, so this is our remainder. So how many times does 10 go into 1,004? It goes in 100 times with a remainder of 4. 100 remainder 4. Or if you wanted to, you could say 104 tenths, right? Either one of those is okay. I like to do the remainder. I'm going to cross out the fraction so it doesn't confuse you. 100 remainder 4. Okay? Whoo, that was weird, huh? So we did some zeros up in the top. But you're going to run into that again uh, at some point when you're practicing this. Okay, let's go do another practice one. 23,401 divided by 11. Oh, my gosh, this is a big one. 2, 3, 4, 0, 1. Inside the division hut divided by 11. All right, let's cover it up and slide over. Does 11 go into 2? Nope. Slide it over. Does 11 go into 23? Yes, it does. It goes in twice. I know that because I'm a very good skip counter. And I know 2 times 11 is 22. See how close I got there? 3 take away 2 is 1. And then 2 take away 2 is 0, but I'm not going to write it because I don't need to. All right, good. Let's slide over one more. And drop this 4 down. Does 11 go into 14? Yup. How many times? Once. I'm answering my own questions here. I feel crazy. Anyways, 1 times 11 is 11. 4 take away 1 is 3. And 1 take away 1 is 0. Slide it on over. And drop down the zero. All right, how many times does 11 go into 30? It doesn't quite go in three times. It only goes in twice. Okay. 
And what's 2 times 11? We already know that. 22. 0 take away 2. You better remember that you have to borrow. 3 becomes a 2. The 0 becomes a 10. 10 take away 2 is 8. And then 2 take away 2 is 0. Okay, one more slide. And bring down our 1. 81. How many times is 11 going to 81? Only seven times. What's seven times 11? 77. Yeah! We're using our multiplication tables again and again and again. You didn't lie to us, Mr. C. We really do need to know this stuff. All right, so let's borrow here, right? Because you can't take seven away from one, but you can take seven away from 11. What do you get? Four. Seven minus seven is zero. And we're out of numbers. See? So we have a remainder of four. How many times is 11 going to 23,401? Goes in 2,127 times with a remainder of four. Or remember, you could do four elevenths there as well. All right, let's do one more. I promise this would be a short video and it's rapidly getting longer. So let's do this last one and get out of here. All right, 780, whoops, two divided by three. All right, cover it up. And then how many times does seven or does three go into seven? It goes in twice. Two times three is six. Seven minus six is one. And then we slide over and bring down the eight. How many times does three go into 18? Ooh, that goes in exactly six times because six times three is 18. Nothing left, right? When you subtract 18 from 18. And then we slide over one more time. And bring down our two. Now we're going to do that thing that we did with this problem here. Okay. Again. Do you remember what we did when we were like, but wait a second. Three doesn't go into two. What do I do? Should you just panic and put your head down on your desk and cry and wait for your teacher to give you an answer? No. Look. How many times does three go into two? It doesn't. It goes in zero times. You have to put that zero up there. You gotta. You gotta do it. All right? And then watch. Zero times three is zero. Two minus zero is two. And then that's our remainder because look, we're out of numbers over here. So our remainder is two. So how many times does three go into 782? Well, it goes in exactly 260 times with a remainder of two left over. Okay, cool. Yeah, sweet. We learned some stuff, Mr. C. What did you learn? Tell me. Well, we learned first of all, I mean, we already kind of knew how to do long division. This was just practice, but the zeros are important. All right, if the number you're dividing by doesn't go into the number that you have left on the bottom, you have to put a zero up on top of the hut up there, right? Because it holds a place value. It changes your number completely. So zeros are very important in long division. Pay attention to them and make sure that you're using them correctly. Uh, and then secondly, practice is important. You practice, you learn how to do it. You get things wrong, you get frustrated, and then your brain figures out what you did wrong, and then you grow wrinkles in your brain as you learn things. Okay? It's important. You got to practice. And I mean, especially if it's difficult. I have kids complain to me every day, it's too hard. When something's difficult, you're actually learning it much better than if it's easy. If something's easy, you've already learned it. You're not learning anything. All right, so it's difficult. You're going to have to practice, okay? So come on, let's get to practicing. What? We're going to do it again? Yeah, come on. Do a couple of these problems and see how you do. 143 divided by 12, and then try 2,801 divided by 4, and then try 4,000 divided by 15. Okay, good luck. I hope that this practice helps. I hope that this video might have connected a few dots for you that I had failed to connect for you before. Um, if you have any questions, please find a math master and ask them. If you know me, ask me. If you know your grandma, you should know your grandma. Ask her. If you got an older brother or sister that can help you, ask them to help. Okay? But practice and learning this concept is very important for moving forward. Thank you.